Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I want to focus some of my time on Stellar XLM because I am a long time hodler for this coin and I want my viewers to see its huge potential. The dollarization worldwide is going to be accelerated by the technology. Have you heard of Stellar Org MoneyGram Partnership? XLM USDC? Let's have a quick look at this video of Peter Thiel talking about the transformation into the new digital era. And that's the kind of choice governments like China, India, some of these other countries are going to face. They will either have to shut down the telecommunications network and make it illegal for you to own a cell phone, or they will have to basically uh, give up the kind of monetary sovereignty they've had and the enormous power that uh, they've been able to wield as a result of this kind of sovereignty over the last uh, many, many years. Um, and I think, so I think this process is already full-fledged. The, the dollarization worldwide is going to be accelerated enormously by the technology. Now, the, the second theme is a little bit more speculative, um, and that is that, that getting rid of money altogether, going from um, digital dollars, from any kind of government-backed currency to purely private currencies. And what, what a private currency, what private money, I think, fundamentally means is that there is no medium of exchange. You exchange value for value rather than exchanging value for something the government says has value for value. And whenever you have this intermediate step of the government saying something has value, that's where you have the subterfuge, the sort of leger domain come in, the game of musical chairs where every now and then a chair gets pulled out and it turns out that you're the one holding a dollar bill that's all of a sudden become worth a little bit less. Um, and the kind of exchange of value for value. So as you heard there, guys, this was Peter Thiel, okay, the co-founder of PayPal in 1999. So this was planned a very long time ago. They knew about the digital dollar coming in in 1999. And in this style, he was talking about banning cell phones. No, <laughs> cell phones are creating this technology. You are going to be using your cell phone to make payments in the near future. You're going to be using your digital IDs on your phone, your digital payment systems, your CBDC maybe. So phones are not going away. The digital dollar is coming in very fast. Okay. And they have just said that the new system is going to reduce the cost of payments. Why has the USDC stablecoin chosen to be based on Stellar? Why is that? Because Stellar is one of them fast, low transaction fee based blockchains. And that's the future guys everything's moving to a quicker and a cheaper system where everything will be digital let's move on to the next bit looking at a tweet from lumination once the central banks are given the green light to tokenize financial assets we could see stellar xlm capture a 50 trillion dollar market cap in a matter of hours <laughs> what do you think guys is it possible i honestly think it is possible because when we were in the just the tens of billions people used to say oh we can never hit a trillion and then we crossed more than a trillion dollars in a total market cap for cryptocurrencies bitcoin hit more than a trillion dollars in its market cap and with coins like stellar xlm guys which have utility are definitely going to be worth in the trillions of dollars and maybe closer to this prediction of 50 trillion so imagine how much xlm would be valued at that time big numbers two three digits guys so just pay attention to XLM because XLM is definitely part of the new financial system. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Subjective Views. Daniel Dixon, the CEO of Stellar, says CFTC will become the regulator for digital assets. There will be a definition of a security, whether cryptocurrencies are a security. And in my honest opinion, guys, most of the cryptocurrencies are commodities as XLM is, in my honest opinion, okay? And I honestly believe that CFTC is better placed to regulate cryptocurrencies because the SEC guys has made a total mess of regulating crypto by enforcement. And that is not an approach that works because they are stifling innovation right now. So let's listen to this clip, guys, and then we'll talk about it at the end. What do you see uh, coming out next? If you think about crypto regulation going along the lines of what we saw with Internet phase one, phase two, phase three, what do you think we're going to see next? And how might that affect how your companies uh, uh, operate going forward? 
think domestically we're going to see stablecoin legislation. That's the very first thing. It's the easiest thing. It's actually super hard because you have banks that push back against it because they don't want anybody out there except for them issuing the assets, which I think is wrong, by the way. Uh, but you're gonna, we're going to still see that. That'll come together. It'll be bipartisan. There's already three bills right now that are pending in different um, in the House and the Senate side. So I think we'll see that come out. I think that we'll also then see, um, I'm hoping that we'll see the CFTC become sort of the regulator for digital assets. Uh, and there'll be a definition, and this is going to take a year, but there'll be a definition of a security and how whether these digital assets, whether uh, cryptocurrencies are securities. That is crucial for us to have here in the United States because other countries will follow. And right now there are so many folks in Alex's business from the financial services side that are afraid to enter the digital asset space because of the fact that they don't know if these are securities. So I think we'll see that again, it's gonna take another year or so. Fantastic. And there you have it guys, the Stella CEO, Danielle Dixon, just said it all. CFTC should be the regulator of choice for regulating crypto and digital assets and they would also specify what's a security and what's not and she's right guys many governments financial institutions are scared to jump into this space right now because they think everything's a security because the SEC has done a good job of scaring everybody and I think as soon as the SEC case with Ripple comes to a close guys we would know what is the security and what is not because the law is going to be changed because all the governments are moving to crypto so that is the future guys with midterm elections coming up i think crypto is going to be a major factor on who gets chosen and cryptocurrencies are helping the average person transact with digital money okay so they are pushing us towards a digital economy the future is very digital it looks very bright for certain currencies if you're invested in xlm then you are here at the right time at the right place because xlm is making huge moves in the world of finance so that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care